Morning all. It is time to do another pattern. I've been farting about instead of doing what I need to do, so I've got to get cracking here. Go down to pattern focus and find today's pattern, which is going to be, let's see, I did that one already, did that one. It's going to be this one, fish in sea. <clears throat> so we've got a fish inspired tangle. Let's make a bigger so I can see it. Um, I don't believe the Step number one shows you drawing a rectangle, but then if you look down here, uh, the shape is not necessarily a rectangle. So you just want um, to create yourself some sort of shape in order to put the uh, pattern in. Okay, and then you're going to make loops. And then next step is we're going to do a triangle here. We're going to aura that little shape there. Get bigger so you can see it. And up here we're going to put a circle and a little line, a little curve there. That gives it its fishiness. Um, we can make another triangle here. Color that in and color in that one. <clears throat> and then between the fishies we're going to make these arches and just aura them all the way through filling in the space in the background so that's what we're aiming for is that right there and like I said here's the the sample that shows it in more like a ribbon and then filling in this shape here so Let's give this a go. I'm not sure where I'm going to head with it. Um, it's not one that I would normally gravitate to. So, you know, those are always the ones that challenge me. Not that this looks like it's difficult. It's just one that I wouldn't gravitate to. Let me get the stuff on my desk here. Let's see. My... Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I need some sort of shape. I'm going to put a border just gently with my pencil. And you know what? I'm going to try that string, string 74 that's this week's string, and see what happens. Something like that. Goes that way, that way, that way, whichever way. And I'm just going to use that as my guide as to where to put these little fishies. I'm going to leave it just like that because that's that's my string. And then our inspiration here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm a little congested this morning. A little bit of allergy happened when I woke up this morning. So this needs to go like that. And this needs to go like this. And this needs to come up like that and be colored in. So that's the little shape we're looking for. Okay. Like that. Like that. A little bit of a little triangle here. And a triangle in here. Like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. <clears throat> yeah, this morning I woke up all <clears throat> congested 
and uh, my eye was all rottery, a little crusty. Not that you needed to know that, but I think maybe because we well, slept with the windows open last night, maybe I'm just uh, feeling uh, an allergy thing happening. I'm going to do this and make these fishies go different directions. I'm going to get a bigger pen to fill that in. Yeah, so that's what I think it is. It's just, we slept with the window open. It was a beautiful night last night. Wonderful temperature. We don't get that very often. Where it's just so nice out. <clears throat> but I think, I think the plants blooming and sleeping with the window open just gave me all sort of a thing happening. So I got up this morning, took a little sinus medication, little allergy pill. I'll be fine. It'll just take a minute to settle in. I'm trying to decide how I want these. Can you see? No, you can't see. I think my camera moved. I'm going to have to adjust that. Let me see. I want to draw here. My camera needs to be over here. All right. Sorry about that, folks. I was completely off screen. Beat me with a wet noodle. Chastise me. It's okay. I understand. You can't see what's going on if it's not on camera. Um, I think I'm going to do another little ones there. Kind of like these ones.
Not a heart pattern now, is it? And then you want to fill in. See, I waited until the end to fill in my uh, my filler shape because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it yet. So I'm going to start with this one. allergy thing has affected my left eye with my my right eye is okay but my left eye was all like watery and itchy which is not fun And just decide how I want this transition between these two to go and I think I'm going to do like that. I'm not overly excited about what's happening here on my tile, but perhaps after I shade, I will feel better. I think maybe I needed to make more of a dedicated shape for where to fill these in or create more of a ribbon across the tile I don't know I'm not particularly pleased with my composition today but that's all right you know you don't have to love each and every tile that you do every single one is a learning experience and now I have learned how to draw this pattern and now I know which way I like it and which way I don't care for it. Like I really like it big like this. That's a good size, I think. I'm not overly happy with it tiny like that. That's 
in my own opinion. Now, somebody else might really like the tiny and find that the big one looks awkward. And that's fine. You know, the point of doing these daily drawings is to um, learn a new pattern and to practice your drawing skills. It is not purpose is not to make a beautiful finished piece of art. Now, if you end up with a beautiful finished piece of art, awesome sauce. But if you don't, it's okay because that's not the point of the exercise. The point of the exercise is practice. Thinking maybe I need to turn this into diva dance and maybe I'll like it better. My my little waves. So I may do that. You guys know diva dance? If you don't, go look it up. It's one of the uh, I want to say old time. One of the um, don't think it's a Zentangle official pattern. I don't think. But it might be. I don't, but I don't think so. I think it's, I think Diva Dance is one of Laura Harms' uh, patterns. As Laura Harms is uh, I Am the Diva, and I believe this came from her, where it's just filling it. Oh, yeah, that's that's better, way better. It needed needed something. See how that just gives it a line weight that it really needed in order to to give it that movement and the motion that it needs. I think I'm going to do some of that in here too. Not as much. But I think it needs something. I'm going to leave it in between the fishies. think but on these longer ones definitely some diva dance is happening
Okay. I'm I'm feeling better. It needed that. It was just too linear and it needed some some uh weight. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes me happier. Suppose I'm off screen again. I'm really being very quiet today. Sorry, folks. I'm in that Zen zone. I get that way when I color. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. I needed that darkness. And then let's um let's put a name on it. Let's fish something. Fish in C. Uh we're gonna live this way, yeah. bit of shading. What do I want to do? Let's try that first. Just see what that does. with that.
there's just something wrong with my camera angle today. I don't know. I didn't think I had moved anything, but I guess I did. don't need to use this big old stump but it's the one I picked up it's growing on me the pattern is growing on me I think it just needed shading to really give it some life for me I do like the bigger ones better It's unlikely I will use this pattern in anything else, but you never know. And uh, yeah, it's it's okay. I, it turned out better than I had anticipated when I first started. So that's good. Um, like I said, you don't have to love every single one of your tiles. It's okay. Um, I've learned some things. I've, I've remembered about Diva Dance and how much I enjoy Diva Dance. So I'm gonna have to incorporate Diva Dance in in, in some upcoming tiles. And um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a really great day. Um, don't know what else to say. Go out and do something nice for somebody today, okay? Let's make the world a better place and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.